So much information comes via the Internet that it's an important skill to be able to evaluate web pages quickly and efficiently. This video will evaluate a web page using the basic criteria of accuracy, authority, objectivity, scope, currency, and usability. We use the same criteria to evaluate many types of information besides web pages, but the Internet offers its own hurdles. I'll use the martinlutherking.org page to show each criteria. A web page would be considered accurate if facts, statistics, charts, or graphs are clearly stated so they can be verified elsewhere. Also, the page should be free of grammatical spelling or other typos. On this page, martinlutherking.org, there are no numbers to verify and the text seems free of typos and grammatical errors. However, one part seems to infer it's a quote from Newsweek written at the time of Dr. King's death. Dr. King's death is easily verifiable as 1968, so this quote should certainly be checked for accuracy. I would do this by looking up the original article published in 1996. At Stockton, Newsweek is available full text in the database Academic Search Complete. From checking the original, we can see the quote is accurate, but it's not cited. However, the original text is not an article as the web page seems to be suggesting, but a book review, and not a very critical one at that. The next criteria is authority. Can we identify the authors and their qualifications? Is the site domain appropriate? Back at our Martin Luther King page, we look at the bottom of the screen to see if we can find the author. It's hosted by Stormfront, and there's a link to their home page. The page has, a do has an ORG domain, so Stormfront must be a nonprofit. The link takes us to Stormfront's homepage, where we learn they are a white pride group. The information reflects directly on the objectivity of the page, the next criteria. Is the purpose of the page to inform or to sell, and does the author provide both sides of an issue? First, I want to find out more about Stormfront and their agenda. I'm going to Google them and look for another page with information about them. Wikipedia states that Stormfront is a white nationalist and supremacist neo-Nazi forum that has been described as the Internet's first major hate site. A quick review of other links supports this information. In the real world, once I had seen how biased this page really is, I'd scrap the page and move on to other sites for information on Dr. King. However, there are three other criteria used to evaluate pages and we should consider them. Currency looks at the datedness of the page. In fact, our Stormfront page has no dates telling us when it was last updated. The scope of the page is evaluated by looking at additional sources or links that should be relevant to the topic. Our Martin Luther page has links which appear to be relevant to the page. The last criteria, usability, evaluates how a page is designed. Is it well organized, easy to navigate, do the links all work? Again, our page seems to satisfy this requirement. On the surface, our Martin Luther King page satisfies many of the evaluation criteria. It's only on looking deeper at the group responsible for the page do we realize they have an agenda to destroy Dr. King's reputation and lack any objectivity on the subject. Using a source to evaluate another source as we did when researching Stormfront is a time-honored technique and will serve you well when doing research either on the Internet or when using print material. If you have any questions, please stop by the Information Desk, call 652-4266, ask to speak to a librarian, or chat with a librarian in the evening between 6 and 10. Thank you.